to necessarily to the individual supervisors. We understand. And I, I'd also like to just say very quickly that uh, on this issue that nobody got notice, um, we have the return mail receipts here where all the property owners were notified. So for Mr. Sabatino or anybody else to say they weren't notified, we feel the notice has been proper pursuant to the ordinance. We understand that. We wouldn't cancel a hearing because of uh, just a, a discrepancy or a disagreement on that. Well, I think it was represented that there was some challenge involved in us not notifying people, and I strongly object to that. We, we did notify the persons who were entitled to notification. If this gentleman wasn't notified, it's because he wasn't a property owner of record. All right. So, it's so, no, we understand that. I just want to finish with Bruce. Uh, Bruce, on that, do you have, normally you stamp things and they come, or, or Teresa stamps it? We, <clears throat> when we did not, as a township, did not receive this correspondence until Friday, June the 3rd. And it was, it, it was when Mr. Bodis had contacted my office and brought this to, to the attention, I indicated that it was part of the township engineer's comments and we still have not received it. I, in turn, as well, contacted Crown on Friday and advised them of this, and the Crown representative indicated they would have to clear that through their legal counsel. It was only then, later in the day, that I did receive that correspondence. And we're, we're, we're kind of stuck in a spot where they're saying they sent it on May 2nd, and they were saying you didn't receive it until did you it? called them to prompt it. Did it come via email? It did come via email, yes. Well, that's easy to it. It's easy when it loads on your phone. I mean, I, I'm happy to go back to the Crown office and, and pull it up. The attachment, what, the attachment that I sent to Bruce on May 2nd won't load. What do you mean it won't load? It, it won't, so because of the, the size of the document, it was archived in our, in our email in the office. And so the attachment itself will not pull up on my phone. I can show you that I sent Bruce an email on May the 2nd saying here are the revised documents attached to our application at 455 Farm Road. I just can't open those documents here to show you. Chris, Chris we need to go to the executive session for a few minutes before we decide to either continue this hearing or uh, um, postpone it. So please join us. Thank you. Breaking for executive session. Another hearing to, to our 